for many people, including myself, linear algebra is the first time that you really encounter what's considered slightly harder proofs. And so I thought I would take the opportunity to make this video and respond to a linear algebra question. And hopefully this advice can help someone else out there who is trying to learn linear algebra. So the email comes from Amir and the subject is book recommendations for linear algebra. So I'll read the email in its entirety and then I will recommend some pretty good resources. Some of the resources I'm going to recommend are widely available and super affordable. Hey Math Sorcerer, I hope you're doing awesome. I wanted to reach out and let you know that I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. Your math wizardry has made learning math so much more fun and accessible for me. I'm currently diving into the world of linear algebra as part of a course, and here's the twist. It's the first time I'm encountering proofs in math. I'm excited but also slightly nervous about this new adventure. Given your expertise, I thought who better to turn to for advice on this journey? Do you have any book recommendations that would be great for someone like me who's just starting out with proofs in linear algebra? I know your suggestions would be like a treasure map leading me to mathematical enlightenment. Your content has been a game changer for me and I'm genuinely grateful for the passion and enthusiasm you bring to math education. Looking forward to your recommendations and I'll eagerly be watching your next video. Best regards, Amir. So first, let me just say two things to this uh, message. So thank you, Amir, for sending this message. And secondly, I think it's really funny that you said it's the first time I'm encountering proofs in math because the truth is I had not read this email until right now and it just basically agrees with everything I just said. So I feel like, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, validated, yes. So for many people, <laughs> including Amir, it is it is the first time that uh, they see proofs. So I, I do have uh, two recommendations. And I think my first one is one that anyone watching this video who wants to learn linear algebra should take. It's a no brainer because it's a book that is widely available. It's super affordable if you can get used copies and in my opinion, it's one of the best books for linear algebra. It, you might not feel that way if you're using it for a course, but if you compare it to a lot of the other books that are out there, this book is gold. It literally is like a treasure. It has withstood the test of time. Here's a really old copy. This is the second edition of Howard Anton's Elementary Linear Algebra. This is, this is the classic book on linear algebra. And one of the best things about this book is that it's very modern, even though it's an older book and it's been reprinted several times. The content in this book is content that is timeless in a sense. If, if you're taking linear algebra and you're taking a class and you're not using this book, well, chances are when you know you have a test, a lot of your test questions will be very similar to the questions in this book because it's very, very standard. A lot of the, the flavor of the questions and the way they're asked and the types of questions, they're things that you often find in this book. So it's a great resource for extra practice problems. And I think that makes it probably the best linear algebra book for beginners out there. I, I highly recommend it. And it's funny because I read the title of this email. I thought, let me just quickly make this video. And I thought, oh, Anton Linear Algebra, where is my copy? And I didn't think I'd be able to find it, but I found it. I actually have two copies of this book. I don't know where the other one is. This book is super affordable. I will leave a link in the description in case you decide to check out this book. I highly recommend it for anyone, any math major who is interested in linear algebra. Yeah, this is this is an awesome book. I should probably do a video where I do like a, a full careful review on this book because it's just got so many good examples. Yeah, basis and dimension, look at that. Someone was studying basis and dimension there. They did the highlight. You see the you see the layout. You see how the layout is very modern. It's just just a nice clean book. Um, very very good. And as much as I love other books by like Serge Lang and you know Hoffman and Kunz, a lot of the older classics, Anton's book uh, has really withstood the test of time for a reason. It's easy, and it'll help you uh, learn linear algebra. Now it does have some proofs, but it is not a proof based. Uh, linear algebra book. For a proof-based linear algebra book, uh, normally in the past people would use Hoffman and Kunz, and you can still use that one. And I was actually just looking at that one this morning uh, for another reason. But a more modern approach would be the one by Friedberg, Enzel, and Spence. Not only is this a more modern take on linear algebra, just the layout of the sections and the way it's written, 
it also serves as an excellent reference. So when you go further in mathematics into other classes, even classes in graduate school, you might forget things and you might have to look them up. And this is a great resource because it serves as a great reference. Again, this is another, I think, must have linear algebra book for anyone serious about mathematics. So these, these two books are, I think, gold. Uh, treasure map, that's it. So this book caused me a lot of pain. Uh, when I learned linear algebra. So I used this book for an actual course, uh, a second course on linear algebra, a course in which I did not get an A. I actually got an A minus Amir, and it's because I didn't learn the material well enough. I, it's, it, I deserved the A minus. I definitely did not deserve an A. I don't like the word deserve. Um, that's a whole other video, but uh, I, I definitely did not deserve an A, and I got an A minus, and I think it was well assigned and well earned. This book is hard. It has proofs, and the proofs are very rigorous. And honestly, I always think that, you know, you get to a point in math where when whenever you write your own proofs, they're better than the proofs in the book. And that's because your proofs are easier to understand than someone else's proofs. It's like programming. If you're looking at someone's program and you're trying to read their code, that's much, much harder than reading your own code. Same thing with proofs, right? Reading someone else's proof is harder than reading your own because you kind of have to figure out what they did. Whereas if you write your own proof, you know what you did because you already constructed that logical chain of thoughts to get to the conclusion. You know everything already, so you're just kind of like validating what you've already done. Whereas if you're looking at someone else's work, like uh, in this book here, you're looking at a proof in this book, you're, you're kind of looking at it and thinking, oh, what they did, what did they do? So one, one piece of advice I have for you on proof writing in linear algebra, because you mentioned that, is that whenever you're working on mathematics, any mathematics from any math book, Always try to do the proofs on your own first. Um, you know, it's it's a well, it's well worth it. I had a friend, he's still my friend, I don't know why I said had, and he took an entire summer and he read uh, Rudin's Principles of Mathematical Analysis. And he didn't do the exercises, but his, his strategy was he would go through all the examples and he would try to do every proof and every example on his own before you know looking at, at the book, before looking at the solution in the book. And that's a good attempt. Was he able to do it? Obviously not. Um, but he was able to grind his way through the entire book, not understanding everything, but he, he grinded through and did the best he could. Um, so I think that's what you can do with books like this grind through it, do the best you can. It's not a perfect book. Um, it's definitely much harder than this one. So this is one This is one for beginners. Again, the one by Anton, definitely for beginners. Very good book. I like this one much better than the Friedberg book. Nothing against these amazing authors and amazing mathematicians. Um, this is just an easier book, right? This is for beginners. Anton's book is for beginners, whereas this is meant for people who have already had a proof writing course. So well worth getting both though, uh, two very different levels of linear algebra. You, you, there's a very big difference in the way the books are written uh, and the way the proofs are written, but both of them are worth having. And the Friedberg book, I learned to appreciate it after I took the course. So after I took linear algebra and got my A minus and moved on with my life, and I, I make it sound bad, I was very happy with the A minus. Uh, uh, I, I did I did end up referencing this in graduate school because I studied quite a bit of linear algebra in graduate school. And I remember looking up stuff like regarding the minimal polynomial and certain theorems that I perhaps didn't cover or forgot as an undergrad. So it, it helps to have this book on your bookshelf. I'll leave links in the description to both of these books, Amir, in case you want to check them out or in case anyone else wants to check them out. And linear algebra is tough. I, I think Amir really nailed it. Uh, when he said, it's the first time I'm encountering proofs in math. Yeah, that's tough. For me, it wasn't the first time. So I took two proof writing classes and even then I struggled. So if this is genuinely your first time you're encountering proofs, I would also recommend getting a proof writing book, uh, the one by Daniel Vellman. Uh, How to Prove It is the one uh, I've been recommending recently to people. It's affordable, kind of. Uh, it's small. And I think uh, Vellman does a good job of explaining things many times multiple ways uh, which helps the reader so yeah it's a great book anyways if you want to learn math i should end this video so let me just say if you want to learn math uh, i do have courses they're on my website mathsorcerer.com i unfortunately do not have a linear algebra course yet maybe someday uh, i will make a course on linear algebra uh, i do have a playlist on linear algebra you can check that out i do have some proofs there in my linear algebra playlist uh, you can check that out as well and if you're not a subscriber and you found any value in this content, consider hitting the subscribe button. But if you take away anything from this video, let's just highlight the main points. 
Linear algebra is tough. It does require proofs. You can learn linear algebra without proofs. To do that, you want to get a book like this one, the one by Anton. I'll leave a link in the description. It does have some proofs, so knowing proof writing is helpful. And then when you want to take it to the next level, the book by Friedberg is a good choice. They're both great books, um, and I'll leave links to both in the description. I recommend them both highly. Um, they're solid textbooks. I hope this video has been helpful, and good luck. Keep doing mathematics.